Hello! Over the past few weeks, we've investigated simplified home weather tools, starting with a windsock, then a thermoscope, and finishing up last time with a barometer. I had intended to end this weather tool series by making a hygrometer, which is a tool that measures how much water vapor is in the air around us. However, I haven't had the greatest success making one that works out of simple household goods. So while I continue to investigate that, this week we'll be ending our weather series by making a tool called an anemometer, which is a tool that measures wind speed or velocity. Today, we're gonna make a hemispherical anemometer, which typically consists of a series of cups attached to a central pole or axis that can spin around in a circle. The device tracks how many turns or revolutions the cups travel around the pole in a given amount of time to determine wind speed or velocity. The faster the cups spin, the faster the wind's traveling. The hemispherical anemometer was invented in 1846 by Irish physicist and astronomer John Thomas Romney Robertson. To make your anemometer at home, you're gonna need tape, a thumbtack or pushpin, two straws, one pencil with a sharpened tip and an eraser, and five paper cups. The first thing we need to do to make our anemometer is to separate our cups so that they're no longer stacked. Next, you're gonna take your sharpened pencil and you're going to use it to poke a hole through four of your paper cups. So you want it to use a spot just a bit below the rim. Be very careful of your fingers and just push it straight through the cup to make a hole. Just like that. So we have our four cups that all have one hole in them each. For our fifth cup, we're actually going to put four holes in it, two directly across from each other. So what I'm gonna do is starting from the outside of the cup, I'm going to press and poke a hole through and then leaving my pencil in the cup, I'm going to push it straight across and I'm going to push the pencil through the other side of the cup. So it should be relatively straight <laughs> and go clear through. Next we're going to rotate our cup and we're going to do it once more. So push through, push, Ooh. try not to crush your cup like I just did, <laughs> push through it. So you should have a cup with four holes. So four cups with one hole, one cup with four holes. Next, you're gonna take one of your straws and you're going to insert it into one of your cups that only has one hole in it. Just push it through like that until we have a little bit on the inside. Next, we're going to push it this way. We're gonna take our tape and we're actually just going to make sure that the straw is nice and taped to the inside of the cup. I wanna to try to tape it down really good. So use a bit more tape than you normally would. So we have our first straw taped into our first cup. Next, we're gonna take a second cup that also only has one hole in it and do the same thing with our second straw. Next, we're gonna take our cup that had four holes in it and we're going to thread our straw through 
a couple of those holes so that it goes through like that. And then we're going to take our next one and do the same through the other holes. Oops. So that it goes through like uh, this. You might have to struggle a little bit, fight with the straws to get them to go past each other. But you want to make sure your cups are facing a similar way. And if they pop off during this step, just stop and retape it again like I'm going to have to. <laughs> Hi, quick side note. Part of the engineering process is evaluating what materials you have available to you and seeing how well they work. Obviously the scotch tape wasn't working so well for me here. I did go on an expedition to find duct tape. Duct tape works much better, highly recommend it. Okay, back to the project. So now that we have these two cups on and connected to our middle pole or axis, it's time to connect our last two cups. And remember, opening goes the same direction for every cup. All right, so we have the main part of our anemometer, all of our cups openings facing the same direction. The last thing we need to do is finish making the polar axis they're going to spin around. To do this, you're going to take your sharpened pencil one more time and you're going to poke a hole right through the bottom of your middle cup. Just like that. Now you're going to take the eraser portion of your pencil and you're going to push it through the hole you just made until it comes into contact with the crossing of the straws. Right there. And this is where you're going to need your thumbtack. You're going to take your thumbtack and you're going to go through both straws and down into the pencil. There's one straw. Two straw. And let's see if I can get this on camera. So you're going to take your pencil eraser and you're just going to push your thumbtack into your eraser. And then you have your middle access that your cups rotate around on. I hope you have fun playing with your wind anemometers at home. The best way to test it would be putting it in front of a fan that has a couple different speeds and seeing how fast it rotates given the speed of the fan. You could share your anemometer with us at education at labattleship.com and as soon as I figure out how to make a hygrometer out of easy to find materials, I'll get back to you guys with another video. Until next time, have a good one. Bye!